In video number two, I'm going to show you how to import and work with pictures that you've sourced from the internet. When we return to the Adobe Spark page, we can see down here the project that we started called Big Cats. This is where we can pick up where we left off. If I click here, it'll open up the project and we can start to edit it again. This video will come up again and I do encourage you to watch this. It might give you some good ideas when you're just getting started. For now, I'm gonna click out of this. To import a photo into Adobe Spark Video, just click this little plus sign here in the middle of the screen and this window will pop up. Click on the photo, then you can come over here and find free photos or go to your Adobe Creative Cloud. But if you've sourced photos from the internet and you have them stored on your computer locally, you can just click the Upload Photo button and then navigate to where you have your photos. In my case, I have them down here on Volume D in a folder called Adobe Spark Tutorial. I'll open that and then I'm going to open the still images. And here we can see all of the pictures that I've sourced from the internet. In this case, it's only three. I'm going to take this first photo here, select it, and say open. Now we've imported that photo into our Big Cats project. As you can see, we need to do some things to this photo so that we can see all of it. Simply go up here to the top right hand corner and click this edit button. And we can zoom in or zoom out. In this case, I'm going to zoom out so we can see all of the picture. This is a picture that I've sourced from the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation. That looks about right. You can see here, now in slide one, this is where we've imported our first photo. You can also decide how long you want each slide to last in your video. If we come over here to the bottom right corner and click here, we can make this slide last anywhere from one to 30 seconds. In this case, I'm gonna have it last about 10 seconds. If you look over here on the right side of the screen, you can see in the layout tab, right now we're in full screen. You can choose to make this a split screen and you see how it changes there. Then you could add text here or you could add another photo here. You could also do this, change it here and put a caption wherever you want or you could select down here and put some title and text. Let's use a split screen and let's type some text in here. And now, if we want to see how this looks all together, we can hit this play button down here on the left hand bottom corner. And then we can click up here in the right hand corner to get out of this. You notice that you heard music. To find out where that came from, just come up here to these tabs up in the top right corner, select music, and you can turn the music on or off or adjust the volume here. You could also add your own music or pick from any of these themes that come with Adobe Spark. And that's it for adding still images or pictures to your Adobe Spark project.